welcome to my channel our today's recipe is beef buffar so you might have tried making beef in different variety ways so have you ever tried making buffar a beef buffar this is a go and recipe and a must try one so now let's see how to prepare this tasty and variety recipe that is beef buffar now let's see the ingredients required for making a go and style beef buffar here we are going to see the ingredients required for making the masala so here we need uh, 10 kashmiri chilies soaked in hot water we have taken 10 kashmiri chilies soaked in hot water and then uh, we require tamarind which is to the size of a lemon that too soaked in hot water then we require 1 teaspoon of pepper and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and here i've taken the whole spices here i've taken two cardamom one inch long cinnamon and a half teaspoon of cloves then uh, we require two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste so these are the ingredients required for making masala for our beef buffar now we need to add them into a mixer jar and grind it into a paste let's take a mixer jar into that let's add our soaked kashmiri chilies I will not be adding water now afterwards we will be adding it little by little now let's keep this water aside and let's add tamarind water here i'm adding a uh, tamarind water along with tamarind then let's add ginger garlic paste and then uh, let's add pepper and our cumin seeds and now let's add our whole spices Now let's close the lid and grind this into a paste. So now here let's open the lid. We have grinded it into a nice paste. Now uh, let's add turmeric powder into this jar. So here I'm adding one by four teaspoon of turmeric powder, and let's also add water into this paste because it is a little thick. So here I'm using here I'm using the water uh, which I've used for soaking Kashmiri red chilies. You can even use the normal water too. Let's add a little bit of water. And now let's close the lid and again grind it into a nice paste which is a little a uh, watery. Now let's open the lid. So here uh, we have pasted uh, our masala well and as you can see here it is uh, not too thick but it is little watery so this is the consistency we need now let's keep this aside we have prepared the masala required for beef buffar now let's move on to the next step that is let's switch on the flame and place a pan into that let's add oil here i've added 2 tablespoons of oil and let's wait till our oil is heated Now here our oil is heated into this let's add uh, potatoes here i'm adding 1 cup of potatoes chopped into cubes so we will be cooking our potatoes till they change their color uh, we'll not be cooking it much because uh, we need to cook these potatoes again along with our curry so for uh, so for that here we will be only cooking till they change their color Let's cook it on medium flame so that uh, they change their color fast and they will not be overcooked. So now here our potatoes they have changed their color but as you can see here they are not cooked they are just half cooked over here. Now when they come to this form uh, let's transfer this into a plate. Now let's keep this aside and let's move on to our next step. Now into this vessel, let's add uh, one and a half cup of onion, chopped into small pieces. And here I've taken four green chilies, chopped into long pieces. Let's add them. So we'll be not uh, frying the onions till they turn to golden brown color. We'll be frying only till they till their color is diminished. Afterwards, we'll be adding tomatoes. <laughs> Now here our onions they have changed their color lightly and into this uh, let's add tomatoes. Let's add one cup of tomatoes and let's mix everything well. Now 
Now let's close the lid so that our tomatoes will be cooked faster. Now let's close the lid so that our tomatoes will be softened. Now let's open the lid. And as you can see here, our tomatoes, they are cooked well. Now let's give it a slight mix. Now into this, let's add the masala which we have prepared for our buffat. Let's uh, stir everything well. Now let's close the lid and cook it. So let's cook this on medium flame for two minutes. Now let's open the lid. So here our paste, it's cooked well. Now let's transfer this into another plate. Now into the same pan, let's add a little more oil. Here I've added three tablespoons of oil. Now into this, let's add beef. Here I'm adding one kg of beef. And now let's mix it well along with our oil. And let's cook till uh, the meat's color changes. So now here I place the flame from medium to high flame. Keep adjusting it and we let's uh, fry till they change to nice uh, color. Now let's switch the flame to medium flame and uh, let's cook till the uh, beef's color changes. Till then uh, let's keep cooking it. So now here our meat, it has changed its color to a brown color. Now uh, let's add our stuff ingredients. Into this let's add our already cooked masala paste. Let's mix everything well. Now let's add water. Here I'm using the uh, same bowl which I've used for uh, taking masala paste. Into that I've added a little bit of water and I've added it. Into that water I've also added our uh, soaked red chili water. If you can add even normal water too. Now into this let's add salt as per taste. As of now uh, we have not added any salt. So let's add salt in this uh, sufficient amount. And let's stir everything well. So uh, the time taken for cooking the meat will be based on uh, the type, uh, the how much time the meat takes for getting cooked. If the meat you have taken takes uh, less time for getting cooked, so you can prepare it uh, with a no, uh, less time. So if it takes more time to get cooked, so it will be taking more time. So now let's wait for 15 to 20 minutes and let's cook this on medium flame. Let's close the lid and let's cook it. 20 minutes is done and now let's open the lid. Now here our curry is ready. So now here our beef it's cooked well. Now into this let's add our half cooked and fried potatoes. And let's stir it well. So previously uh, we have not cooked our uh, potatoes much, we have just uh, fried it in oil. So let's close the lid and cook this for 5 minutes so that uh, along with our beef so that our potatoes will be cooked. 5 minutes is done and now let's open the lid. So here our potatoes they are cooked well. Now into this uh, let's add vinegar. Here I'm adding one teaspoon of vinegar. Already we have added a uh, tamarind uh, juice. So based on that, if you if you need to add more, you can add it. So now here our beef puffa is ready. Now let's switch off the flame and transfer this into a serving bowl. So now here our tasty beef puffa is ready. Now let's transfer this into a serving bowl. So this is a little spicy and very tasty recipe. Into this we have added our green chilies as well as Kashmiri chilies. 
and uh, they add a great flavor to this and also uh, I've showed you how to prepare the masala paste for our beef profile and that will also will be adding a great taste to this uh, curry so surely try this govind recipe and after trying do let me know your suggestions through comment box like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with variety videos till then stay tuned to my channel